Hello everyone and welcome to a very special episode of Zoo Bites! This is our awesome informational little series where we tell you some real life facts about the real life animals that exist in our world. And we actually have a few very special Zoo Bite episodes coming up because we are getting ready to be able to release the zoo to you guys so that you can come and visit the zoo, download the map, we'll have everything all set up for you so hopefully it'll be as easy as dragging and dropping everything into the right files and then it will be your turn to come to Zoo and to be able to tour the zoo and learn more about the amazing animals that are here. And to be able to prepare for that, we're trying to make sure that all of the exhibits are up to snuff, that all of the animals are well cared for, and that all of the information that you guys need to learn more about the animals that exist in our zoo is provided for you. And so that is what this Zoo Bites is going to focus on. We are going to be focusing on some of our absolutely awesome animals in our zoo so that you guys can learn more about them to prepare yourselves for coming to visit. This is very exciting and I hope you guys enjoy. So today, first up, we're going to learn about one of the stars of our reptile house. Are you guys ready for this? We are going to learn about the American Crocodile. The American Crocodile is a pretty interesting reptile. It's quite a large crocodile. You don't see many of them in actual North America anymore, but there's quite a few living throughout Central America and South America, and hopefully the population, though while endangered, will still be able to preserve and carry on. So get ready guys, sit back, relax, and enjoy some quick awesome facts about the American Crocodile. And hopefully when you guys are able to come and visit the zoo, you'll be able to know a little bit more about them and feel a little more confident and do you admire their beautiful exhibits. So we will see you then guys and get ready, relax, and get ready to learn. The American Crocodile is a shy and reclusive species of crocodilian that lives throughout North, Central, and South America, in very limited parts of North America, mind you. When many people think of crocodiles in North America, they're actually thinking about the American Alligator. The American Crocodile is very low in numbers. It was pushed due to hunting and overhunting to the very low hundreds in the early 1970s, and has since only been able to bounce back to about 2,000 members in all of North America through biologist search. Surveys. The largest population of American Crocodile is now no longer in North America, but is actually in the Dominican Republic, in a very hyper lake that happens to be about 40 meters above sea level, where it shares its waters with many, many flamingos. The American Crocodile is considered an endangered species, and in many countries laws are passed to protect them. It is no longer legal to hunt them in the United States. Small populations still remain throughout Florida, but most populations can be found throughout Central and South America now. Their habitat of choice is fresh or brackish water near river estuaries, coastal lagoons, and mangrove swamps. They inhabit those mangrove swamps where there's a lot of fish, a lot of turtles, snow egrets. They really prefer the brackish water, and that means that there's a lot of salt and fresh water being mixed together as the fresh water from inland mixes with the salt of water along the coast. These creatures are almost prehistoric looking. They are one of the larger species of crocodilian in the world, not as large as the saltwater crocodile of Australia, but they get to a decent size of up to 15 feet. In North America, where it's a little bit colder, they don't often grow that big. They usually grow only to about 13 feet for males and 10 feet for females. It's thought that the cold temperature and the cold water, especially as temperatures continue to drop over the years, has a big impact on populations of North American American crocodiles. Because American crocodiles, like many reptiles, are triggered into breeding when the water and the air temperature is just right. And since it has been increasingly cold over recent decades, it's more difficult for the American crocodile to be triggered into breeding cycles. And because of that, there's fewer of them. It's also thought that American crocodile females need to reach a certain length before they are able to breed. Normally, they are able to achieve that length at around the ages of 10 to 13 years of age. But now that things are colder and it's more difficult for them to grow, it's difficult for those females to get to the length that they need to be sexually mature. They can still reach sexual maturity when they're smaller, but there seems to be a interesting correlation in the crocodile species between the length of a crocodile and its sexual maturity, not just the age, as with many animals. These 
Some American crocodiles have a pretty interesting diet. It's pretty simple. When people think crocodiles, they think really aggressive animals. But American crocodiles mostly eat small mammals, birds, lots and lots of fish, crabs, turtles, insects, snails, frogs. They eat carrion if they can find any dead meat floating around. And they very rarely attack people. Part of that is due to their low numbers, but part of it is due to their shy personalities. They're not very aggressive animals, despite their size and their amazing bite force. So they would rather scurry away before uh, being aggressive and attacking anyone. The females usually lay eggs. Uh, it, they lay eggs around early summer. They often make nests up above the waterline, high above the waterline if they're going to be successful nesters. It can sometimes take females a few nests before they realize they need to lay their eggs higher in order for them to be above the waterline and out of danger. Those eggs take about 90 days to hatch. This species of crocodile will often have the female check on the eggs, but not take care of the nestlings once they hatch, though some crocodile species do take care of their nestlings. The nestlings run quite an exciting life trying to make sure that they are not eaten by many of the other aquatic animals before they're big enough to be an apex predator and have very few risks and very few predators other than humans. Right now the American crocodile doesn't have the brightest future but there are many biologists and officials working in Florida especially to try to see this population bounce back. It was once a key apex predator along the east coast of the United States, and it will be interesting to see if we're able to bring this species around again. And now, to help our guests while they are visiting Zudesia Zoo so they can admire our amazing American crocodiles, we have updated our American crocodile information chest so that it now has relevant information about these amazing reptiles. When you come to Zudesia Zoo and walk downstairs in order to learn more about the American crocodile, you may now open up this chest and you can see a quick list of all sorts of facts about the American crocodile. If you scroll across these reptile hides, you can learn that the American American crocodile is a reptile, its lifespan is about 70 years, its weight is up to 2,000 pounds, its size is up, to, is up to about 15 feet, it lays eggs, and you can see a little bit about its habitat. If you take out the map and look at the map, you can see an example of a swampy habitat, and you can learn that their habitat is primarily mangrove swamps, where there's swamp water, brackish water, white mangrove trees, black mangrove trees, snow egret feathers, cobwebs from a lot of the spiders and insects that happen to inhabit the swamp areas. You've also got mud and sand that makes up a lot of the landscape around these mangrove swamps where the mangrove trees will dig their roots deep into the mud and it's very sandy embankments where the crocodiles like to climb up and make their nests. And you can also come down here and learn a little bit more about their diet as carnivores. They are indeed strict carnivores. They eat small mammals, birds, fish, crabs, frogs, and carrion, which is dead meat that they happen to stumble across. So there you go, you guys. You have now learned a little bit more about our absolutely amazing American crocodiles. And I hope when the zoo is available for you to visit, you will come and say hello to our awesome American crocodiles, Loki, Thor, Tick, and Talk. There's quite a large exhibit for you to be able to admire. Don't worry, they won't be able to reach you. Hiss indeed, hiss indeed, my girl. And you can come and eat at our wonderful little shop. Our little cafe will be revamped. And we also have a wonderful mud salon where you can pretend that you are an amazing American crocodile and climb into our awesome mud salon right over here. Ah. <sighs> So there we go, everybody. That's the end of yet another awesome Zoo Bites episode. We're focusing a little bit more on some of the animals that we actually have here in the zoo for a while so that we can try to make sure all of their exhibits are updated and good and ready to go for when it is time for you guys to be able to come and visit the zoo. So I will see you guys next time. And remember, stay curious.